recognize you. You're on your screen, but you can't hear me. Can you see me? Yes. And I can hear you. All of a sudden, that worked. Awesome. Okay, cool. It's working. Okay, right. and obviously you don't need to see me. I just need to make sure that that works uh, and everything. Okay, hang on one second. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Okay. So, are, so do you see my screen uh, in front of you with the two pages? Yep. Is that what you see? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure that it was working. Um, excellent. Uh, this is going to be, uh, it's, it's automatically recorded. So when we're done, it will email to you. And that way, if there's anything that you missed or we went too fast on one part or, or whatever, you have, you'll have this uh, for the future. Okay, awesome. Um, typically what I want to do is start in the opposite direction instead of me, me talking, I just, uh, I would rather turn it over to you first and just hear some of the basic questions, the things that have jumped out at you, uh, initially, uh, and get those answered and then just dive right into whatever we need to cover. Um, well, first one, how do I know which, which one to use as far as my chords go, whether it's the big one or the small one? Okay. It's a good question. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the science and that's going to address that. Uh, okay. here in just a minute. That uh, that one I promise we're going to answer right away. Um, the, the, the best way to, to understand what we're doing is that uh, we want to get the appropriate size and shape magnetic field for the appropriate issue. Okay? Yeah. And uh, I'm going to give you two examples of why we have different applicators. Okay? And then I'll give you a, 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 a test to do. Do you happen to have the machine there with you? Uh, it's in a different room. Okay, but I, so, I mean, you have you have you don't have to leave to do. I meant you, I meant uh, there with you at this moment. So it's something you could do after we're done or whatever. Cool. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. So let me uh, let me give you the, the the simple answer first. In terms of what applicator to use, most of this we're going to do that. This training is if you think about this, I'm going to be your tour guide at Disneyland. I show you all the highlights and the points and all the things, but I never tell you go to Space Mountain first, then do the big trail railroad, and then do the Splash Mountain. You go and do your own adventures in the way you like it, but you use me as the guide, as the map, okay? Another way of saying that is, in all the years I've been doing this, the single most important thing that, that we rely on is the practitioner's uh, uh, intuition. Yeah. Not necessarily... Not necessarily things like, uh, 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 you know, what they're going to do, what the pathology is and things like that. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's really, it may be that the person says, it's my shoulder, it's my shoulder. But your intuition is their practitioner. You know that it's not yeah. their shoulder. It, it's something else. We want you to follow that. Okay. Um, okay. So... Uh, the best way to think about how the magnetic field comes off of the applicator, which will directly relate to your, what, what applicator would you use is, is think about it this way. When you have the big loop and you, you, yeah. you're using that, that is equivalent to dropping a rock in a little puddle. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, a, a, a rock in a, in, in a pond, not in a puddle, in a pond. Okay. So if yeah. you drop a rock in a pond, what happens? You have like isolated waves in one area, but it doesn't go coast to coast, right? Yeah. It's just it's just one area, okay? When you take a huge boulder and you drop it in a puddle in the street, what happens? It's it, 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 puddle, right? It, there is no more puddle. It, it it's all over the place, okay? So how we manipulate the field is relative to the where and how we use it, okay? And this will all make sense here in a second. Um, the best way that we sort of mentally understand how this works is we do something called the praying position test. Okay. And the applicator you have, there's a small one with the Velcro. Um, I don't know if it has Velcro on it or not. N not Velcro. It's a, uh, 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 what's the word? A silicone. Uh, it's a, there's a, okay. it's a very small, small head. It's a small headed one, right? Yeah. There's a small head yeah. one. There's okay. So if you took the small headed one and you put it in between mm -hmm. your hands, like you were praying, mm -hmm. okay. And you ran the machine, you wouldn't feel it that much. Okay. Yeah. If you took that loop, you folded it in half and you doubled it over, folded it in half and, and put it in between your hands again, it would feel like you're mm -hmm. pulsing 
you know, three feet through both sides of your hands. Okay. Totally different. Completely different. We haven't adjusted anything on the machine. We haven't changed the applicator. We haven't done anything. Mm -hmm. All we did was fold it in half and fold it in half again. Okay. And what that did was it took a big broadcasting field and made it into a smaller or more focused one. Okay. okay. That is going to be critical for several things. Okay. Sensitive patients. And, and, and I know we're talking a little bit out of order in terms of protocols, but this, this all ties together. Sensitive patients, patients that uh, have a problem, let's say, with their atlas or supraspinatus or up mm -hmm. in the neck, bringing that big yeah. coil near them, it may be too sensitive. And you can't get the coil close enough to, to get the treatment. That's when we can take this applicator and fold it over and fold it over. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's when now we can take this huge magnetic field and give it more pinpoint or precise accuracy. Okay. I'll, I'll give you an example. My wife has a whole bunch of neck problems and getting her to use the machine, she'd have to use that big loop and hold it far away and we weren't able to get results. The second we use this yeah. real small applicator where we could fold it and fold it again, now she wasn't feeling it in all the other areas that were also uncomfortable. We could put it just right on the core of the spot. Okay. Yeah. Plantar fascia. Elbows, hands, wrists, feet, small, hard to reach areas. That's when you're going to rely mm -hmm. on the small focused applicator. Bigger yeah. body parts, larger areas mm -hmm. that need a session, uh, fibromyalgia, or a mo a MS, diabetic mm -hmm. neuropathy, we, the list could keep going. Um, moving systemic disorders. That's when we, we use the, the bigger loop. Okay. And we're, we're going to do a little bit of the basic protocol here, and we're going to talk about what, what loop we use at all times, the, the who, what, where, when, and why. I'm going to give okay. you what, what I call the, the Wallach elevator protocol, and it's for 90% of the conditions, if you follow this method, you get a great result. Okay. Okay. Um, let's talk. Uh, it's going to be a little bit out of order, but I also think that you have a little bit more experience and understanding than most people with this. So for me to spend... 20 minutes on the history it, it's just we don't need to waste your time um yeah. the the simple science the best way to explain to people to the patient what it is is i just tell them it is a battery charger for their cells okay um if that doesn't resonate with them here's another really good one i just used in the webinar that that most people get you know on facebook they're selling that cool new charger for your phone that you don't have to plug in yeah it's that little plate you put on your phone everybody says yeah because everybody's on facebook and they see that stuff yeah it's that but bigger okay and that's really what yeah, it is yeah. it is that but much bigger it is electromagnetic induction it's inducing energy at a distance to i'm sure you guys have experimented at least to a degree and you can see a low back a shoulder or a hot spot you if you come any closer oh, yeah. than a foot away, it's strong. It's sensitive. You don't even need to touch the person. So we know it's it's creating a magnetic field at a distance. Okay, and that's that's really what we explain to the patient. And the benefit uh, from our end, from the practitioner end, is that water is not our enemy. Okay, water is our friend in this case. So in certain okay. cases where it makes sense to use water, we can use water to boost the treatment. Diabetic neuropathy, we put their feet in a bucket of water. And we put the mm -hmm. loop on the floor underneath the bucket and we pull okay. through the water. Okay. Things like that. Uh, as an example, another example, let's say you want to do icing on somebody's shoulder or a cold therapy or a water therapy. You can put the applicator of our machine right over and it pulses right through and it's not uh, negative because there's water. It's positive. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, so, I just thought I'll talk about what we call the 12 attributes of the field. Okay. These are the, the, the 12 known things of science that we know that the machine does. Okay. And basically what this should do is give you a, a, a good understanding of the conditions that this will work on because these all tie to the conditions. Okay. And then we will go right into the protocols. We're going to talk about some specific protocols. Okay. First thing to tell you as I start this is that with, with this technology versus Anything else that I've ever seen, we don't care so much about the pathology. We don't yeah. care 
about the story of how it happened. And when I say don't care, I only mean in the successful treatment end, not in the compassion end or any of that. And I meant in terms mm -hmm. of getting results. Okay, some some modalities, and in fact, some treatments are specifically based on the story of what happened. So that way we can target it. This is the exact opposite. We really only care about two things, where in the body it is and where in the body it's originating from. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so where I'm getting with that is, is once we're done here, if 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 practitioners call me up and and ask me repeated questions about protocols, okay, okay. Now, do, what about torn ligament? How how what's the protocol for that? Okay, got it. Now, does it work on a on a knee thing? Okay, yeah. Now, what about this? And they ask to me, they're asking the same question, and they didn't understand. I didn't do a good enough job of explaining. Here's how it works. Okay, so so that's that's where, where I'm getting with it. This. Uh, first thing we see is atomic excitement. The energy seems to stimulate the spin of the electron to store the energy that lasts there for three days. Okay, there's a, a mathematic equation that basically that the speed of which the atoms, sorry, the electrons go around the atoms of our cells is relative to how much energy is created inside of the cell. It's 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 a formula. So as as an example, let's say uh, the electrons are going around at three miles an hour in our atom. That creates normal life for us. When we have Mm -hmm. Injury or illness or disease, one of the things we trace back to the subcellular level is the lack of mitochondrial activity and the lack of ATP production, which is relative to the energy produced in the cell. Okay, What's happening is the spin is slowed down. Our machine comes in and we restore the spin of the electron. Okay. That's 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 one of the that's simple, most basic function. If, if uh, somebody has been sick, and uh, the spin of the electron has reduced to just say two miles an hour for this conversation. We come back in and we go boop and we reset it back to three. Okay. The byproduct of that is a whole bunch of other things at the cellular level. When, when you read about PEMF therapy and it produces more ATP or you get higher mitochondrial activity or the cellular function restored, the, it, it starts right here. This is the only way that can happen. That's just from a mechanism of action. Okay. The second thing we see is the molecules tend to align slightly with each magnetic pulse. It makes the molecules easier to combine, especially when excited. Uh, I'm just going to give you this analogy, which if you sort of translate it to what we can do with the body, it, it makes sense. Do you remember when we were kids? Do you remember the toy Wooly Willy? I don't know if I do or not. Okay, so it was the cheap toy. It was like two bucks at the, the pharmacy or uh, or like a, a Ralph's, right? Mom or dad would buy it at the supermarket. And it was a bald dude with a whole bunch of iron filings at the bottom and a little magnetic pencil with a, with, with a magnet. And you could take the pencil and move the filings around and give him a handlebar mustache or a mohawk or a funny beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. If you take our loop and put it underneath Wooly Willy, over a period of a session, the iron filings will become the shape of that loop that you have. Okay. Okay. So you put in anything that's magnetically sensitive into the body. Uh, uh, Epsom, people use Epsom salt in the water uh, 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 because of nitrogen, because of, uh, 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 sorry, nitrogen, because of magnesium. Uh, and anything that you're putting in the body, it's going to respond better just because of the magnetic field. Okay. Um, next thing is the pH becomes far more alkaline. This is in the water inside of you. So it's a good little before and after test to show patients that the machine is working. Go to Petco or uh, any, any of the, the fish supply stores and get litmus paper, yeah. the kind that you just dunk into water. And all you do is do mm -hmm. the tongue tests. Have them uh, have a chronic pain patient do their tongue on the litmus paper before their first session. Give them a treatment do it about 10 minutes after and repeat the process over the first few sessions. They will see a dramatic shift in the pH. Okay. And it will typically coincide with them feeling better. Okay. We're, we're getting rid of the sodium inside of the body. Uh, it's a higher gen, higher oxygen uh, uptake at the cellular level. This is only the water inside of you, not the blood. Okay. We can't shift blood pH. Um, I mean, you can a little bit with diet and all that, but, it's set at a certain rate. This is the water inside of you. So obviously if we can make uh, uh, athletes far more alkaline, inflammation from their knee injury is going to go away faster as one example. Okay. Amongst, you know, a gazillion other positives that come with this. Um, 
the next thing is the surface tension can shift on the order of 16 fold of the of the fluids this allows fluids to flow to the cell gates more efficiently or the lymph to thin and flow two two direct cases where this applies i think uh, to you where we where we've been talking is uh, uh any any patients that have chronic congestion have any sort of lymphatic drainage issues if we treat their hips their feet and underneath their arms they will get a release whether it's a runny nose right after the session to dramatic lymphatic drainage this is fantastic it, it works and it works fairly quick um and then the other thing where we see this is prevent it's, it's athletic performance enhancement, but it's also prevention of, of athletic breakdown. You, you talked about that seminar that you were doing for, for some of the local kids where this is an option for them. Okay, well, where this comes into play is that if, if the water is wetter, if it is smoother, if it has less resistance, it means it gets absorbed at the cellular level faster and more efficiently. Okay, um, a cool little test that I did is I pulse two bottles of water, I leave them overnight, and then I take them and I pour them into a brown lunch sack. You know, like a lunch sack you send your kid to school in. And you will watch the pulsed yeah. water will bead the bag and then burst to the floor way faster than the non-pulsed water. And what we've done by doing that is we've reduced the surface tension. It's, it's breaking down the bag faster. Going into our body, it's a reverse effect. It means we're hydrated faster. And hydration is the key for so many things in the body in terms of health, in terms of athletic performance, in terms of healing. We, we see this repeatedly. Um, next one is red blood cells separate. This is cool if you do dark field uh, microscopy. If you do any befores and afters, uh, the machine is fantastic, but this is a good one. It just shows people that when you use the machine, a couple effects happen that the, the cells restore their charge and they will repel each other, which means more oxygen, uh, water, nutrients, things like that can go into the cell. Um, if you have two magnets on your refrigerator and you take the negative side and the negative side and you push them together, what happens? They repulse. Right. Nothing. Even Shaq can't get them to combine. And that's yeah. that's uh that's what we do to the cells of the body so it, it really create i mean and you can draw blood and you can see this it, it, it creates uh chaos or it creates organization out of chaos it, it, it repairs the chaos and uh you, it, it's a good way to equate what's happening as opposed to you know i just feel better because we need some tangible stuff right yeah. um next thing next thing that we'll see and you will see this a bit uh with patients is that the vascular system relaxes blood pressure will drop anywhere from 15 to 30 percent and this is up to 20 minutes after a session okay in the same vein no pun intended uh we treat migraines not at the head we treat the femoral artery we treat the inner thighs because we are trying to get the blood passageways to open up we're trying to add another lane into the highway when there's traffic so somebody who has a pounding headache you put it on their inner thigh, their inner left thigh. Within 10 minutes, they're going to look at you and think you're a miracle worker. Okay? Chronic migraine sufferers, you get them in to use the machine over a period of a month. Their migraines change from 90% bad to 10% bad. I am a, a walking, living case of that. It, it changed my life dramatically. Um, conversely, one of the few things that we keep an eye out for um, are patients that have chronic low blood pressure. Okay, or uh, uh, people that are on tons of medications or under undernourished, because they will use mm -hmm. the machine. And I'll give you one example: my 97 year old grandmother who weighs less than 100 pounds. If I give her a 30 minute session, she's going to stand up and feel real woozy and real light lightheaded. We've reduced her blood pressure too much. She doesn't have enough sugar or sodium or something in her body. We need to bring that back up. So where I'm going with that is is some of the cases where my 97 year old grandmother somebody that's frail that's thin that may have uh, uh some previous health history it's better to go slow and start them with a half session and then work up to a full session because of this uh particular uh instance it's very rare that you, that you worry about somebody feeling woozy but we, we talk about it because it has happened um there's a systemic response to the sessions. Many report that the body's functions have been fine-tuned or turbocharged, and many times the targeted issue that we're working on doesn't get better right away. Rather, it's something else. Okay, I saw this so much in baseball. Okay, and you'll understand this just with the torque of the body, is we'd get pitchers with a knee problem, and we'd treat their knee, and three or four sessions in, they would get no results. 
they wouldn't feel any better, no pain relief, no nothing. And I'd say, you mean the machine didn't do anything for you? And they would say, well, yeah, my old back injury, God, that hasn't felt this good in years, but it hasn't done anything for my knee. And we've never put the loop anywhere near their low back. We've only treated their knee. Okay. But that yeah. doesn't matter because the knee and the back are connected and the, the, the nerves are, are like wires. They'll, they'll, they'll pass the energy. They, they, the, the body was directing the energy. They, their back got the treatment first. So, so sometimes we're working on a spot and it's not responding. It doesn't mean that we are doing something wrong. It either means that uh, something else in the body has taken priority uh, and it's going somewhere else, or we need to uh, adjust the protocol. Okay. Um, reco recovery time from a fracture can be one third normal time or more. I, I feel comfortable hanging my hat on one third of time. It's typically faster, but, but better to stick with the science. Any sort of bone issue you get, get them on the machine. Life changer, going to be awesome. Before and after x-rays, MRIs, whatever they use as their before and after tells a story. It is remarkable. And uh, they will feel it on the fracture site until there's no more fracture, until those bones have actually knitted. And uh, they will say, hey, doc, something's wrong with the machine today. Why? It's not thumping in my hip where the fracture was the way it used to. Great. <laughs> awesome. That means that we've, now that bone has sealed. It's communicating electrically. There's no gap or arc to jump. Um, I'm fantastic. I mean, it really is any sort of bone-related issue. Um, the most important thing that this machine does, in my personal opinion, of all the, the science and the things you can read and this and that, is something called electroporation or electroporosis. I, uh, uh, when I did that webinar yesterday, I realized I probably should have dedicated like 10 minutes just to this, this point because it encompasses all the other things we talked about. Um, mm -hmm. But just very simply, it, 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 have you ever been overseas? Have you been to Europe? Have you been to England or Australia or anything like that? I'm in Australia, yeah. Awesome. Sweet. I've been in Australia a few times. You will get this analogy more than most people, okay? Everybody loves tea there. There's tea time. Whether they serve coffee or whatever, it's tea, and there's always tea and biscuits and everything. Okay, we don't have stuff like that here, but they do there. Okay, and the best way to scientifically understand what electroporation does and the benefits of it is to hear this little analogy about tea. Okay, we, we when we use the machine, we're pulsing the cells and we're creating this electromagnetic stimulation where all of the little holes, the gates, the pits that either bring in fluids, that release waste, bring in oxygen, that are all designed to do something. They all become stimulated at once during the session and they open up and they remain open for about two to three hours after the treatment. Okay, so if you've read anything on PEMF where people talk about, well, better oxygen uptake to the cell, better hydration, better detox, but there's no understanding of why, this is the why. Okay, and how it goes into tea is this, is there's two types of biscuits in Australia that they serve with tea. There's Arnott's brand biscuits and there's crap. Okay, and that's really what it is. You take a crappy biscuit and you dunk it in your tea and what happens? You dunk it in your tea and you pick it up and the, the tea starts to beat off the biscuit and the biscuit crumbles and falls apart into your cup of tea or coffee and you have this cup of like floating cookie mess i have done that plenty of times i'm guessing you've at least seen somebody do that if that hasn't happened to you yeah. you know what i'm talking about okay it's a mess yeah. then you use the good quality biscuits and you go there and they're like why is it four dollars more for this brand of biscuit but then you dunk it into the cup of tea or coffee and you understand why you dunk it in there this is arnott's brands and you you pick it up and all of the excess moisture wicks off. It drips right back up into the cup. And you take a bite of the cookie, and what happens? It's soft on the inside, but it's still crunchy on the outside. Right? Yeah. That same exact thing happens to our cells with electroporation. Okay? We are stimulating the cells. They're becoming sponges, so they bring in more water than they ever have before. They're getting the toxins that I don't care if somebody tells you, I detox every week, you can't detox me. They've not experienced this machine. They've not gotten water into certain parts of the cells before. It's just that's the byproduct of how our body works. We can't get it all. This machine helps the body do that. Okay. So it's like a process going, and it soaks up all the water. Toxins come out, oxygen, nutrients, things like that go back in. And when we're done, about three hours after the session, the gates or the pits, they all close right back up as if nothing ever happened. Okay. They are doing in the Western world, they're doing some clinical studies on electroporation in head and neck cancer. 
So what they're doing is using a laboratory-based PEMF generator to pulse tumors in somebody's head and neck and then injecting chemo directly into the tumor with the goal of, hey, we're, we're treating brain cancer, neck cancer, let's not flood the body with chemo, let's use a sniper instead of a ball. And they've yeah. been doing series of clinical trials. So this, this, this is the reason, this is the driving force behind so many other things on why it works, is this electroporation process. Uh, secondary thing is it helps the cell change sodium back to potassium. So you will, we talked about the, the pH and you will see patients that have swelling on their knee. They, they say, Dr. Gary, I don't know what you did, but I treated my, you treated my knee 20 minutes and the swelling is completely gone overnight. How is that possible? It's because we got the cell to convert some of the sodium back to potassium. Um, and then the last thing that it does is the electromagnetic pulse is causing the person to create tiny little microcurrents. That is that ticking or that arcing feeling that you feel in the body or, or in that spot. Typically, yeah. that ache goes away or diminishes as healing occurs. Okay. And then and the last point I should have said is that to the speed of the discharge of the pulse, we're not like TENS or, or diathermy or any of those things. We are simply... Uh, a light switch. We can use as much power as we want because we're momentary. So the candle example is perfect. When we were about five years old, we figured out how to play with fire, right? If we took our finger and ran it out in and out of the candle at a certain speed, it would never hurt. It would never burn. It would yeah. never catch flame. All we would be able to do is, cool, look, mom, I'm playing with fire and we can do it for as long as we want. With our machine, that's what we're doing. We're running our finger in and out of the candle at such a fast rate. It only has time to put a little bit of energy in the cell each time. That's it. Okay. That's all it does. Okay. Um, those attributes will, will sort of directly tie us into the next part, which is the protocols. I want to just take a pause to ask if there's any questions, any comments, anything that you want to jump in uh, about at this point, anything that we, we should cover that we did. Do you have any pamphlets that we can hand out to patients? Yes, I do. I'm going to, uh, I just, uh, I was busy this week getting ready for the webinar. I haven't sent your marketing package over. I have a marketing package that I'm going to send over that has all of this brochures, pamphlets, uh, purchase coupons, and all of that stuff uh, with your logo so that way you can print it all out and use it. Perfect. <laughs> um, do you, do you want to talk about the basic operation of how you use the machine in terms of plugging it in, changing the applicators, turning it on and off? Do you feel pretty comfortable now that you've had a chance to play with that? Yeah, I feel pretty good about doing all that. Okay. The only thing that I would have a question would be the timer knob. Um, yeah. Because it doesn't show me the actual amount of time. Yes, I uh, I need to ask my production guy what we said at in inside. If can you see this, you can see my screen, right? Um, yeah. In inside your machine, it looks a little bit different. But when you open it up, there's a relay thing here that tells us what the time range is set at. Uh, I just need to ask my guy because the, your knob has four settings. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's it's two, four, seven, and ten the four settings, but I need to find out. So I will let you know, so that way you know what the four settings are. This five settings. Right about seven minutes. So we just yeah. assume it was seven minutes, and that's what we do for our trial treatments. Sure, sure. And that's, hey, that's that's what we were going to talk about, so that's a a, a good thing. Have uh, have you you been doing the demos, I, I imagine, yes? Yeah, so like any patient that came in that we thought could possibly benefit for it, they've had their like free trial. And so far, everyone Excellent. that I've called to follow up, and we're only doing the seven minutes, so we're not giving them a full, good. A full treatment. Good, because, good. Hey, I have to waste my hours. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't want to. No, you don't want to. Yeah. Um. So, but I, I believe everyone's enjoyed it quite often, um, and a lot of them are now starting to try to get on the books for it. So. Um, okay. Cool. Are you the same model as you, like fifty for one treatment, forty-five for five, and then. 40 for 10. Great. But no one has and, and, signed. But we're, we're in the works of getting all that. Sure. And, and now I'm, I'm, again, I just assume that nobody knows nothing. So that way I don't insult anybody. <laughs> um, do, do you just do their one bad spot when you do the demo? Is that what you're doing? Like, okay, we're, Mary, we think you have a bad shoulder, so we're going to do your shoulder. Or how are you, how are you doing your seven minutes? It, it all depends on what I find. Like, if it's truly an ankle, okay, I'll work on the ankle. If it's the low back where it's stemming from, I go to 
wherever I believe it's stemming from. Um, perfect, 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 perfect. You know, I hit the neck and the shoulder feels amazing. Like a guy yesterday, brand new patient, never seen him, came in with a severe like torticollis. Basically, he couldn't turn his head. Um, I adjusted him, and then uh, he's like, "I think it's my shoulder. It's my shoulder." I did a upper cervical, and now he's normal today. So, perfect. I know. Awesome. Coming back in. No, you're, you're on the right track. And look, the, part of this is a test. If, if it ends up being that we need more hours for, mm-hmm. for demos and things like that, that's fine, too. We're, we're going to find out. Uh, but you know yeah. what I mean? We want you to feel good to be able to do that. You're, you're, you're on the right track. This is exactly what you want to do. The reason I ask is because I, is we're going to go over some protocols. And what I had was I had some practitioners that were trying to go through the 25, 30-minute protocol in five minutes. Mm-hmm and they weren't getting enough results. So they were like, yeah, I just did 30 seconds here, 30 seconds there, 20 seconds. I was like, no, 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 no. That's my fault. Let's not do that. So, so that, that's why I asked the question. You're, you're obviously in the right direction, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, some of the stuff you guys can go over. It's not that I don't want to waste uh, uh, my time doing it, but I would rather talk about the protocols than the do's and do's that uh, do's and do nots that are on the, yeah. the piece of paper. Okay. Um, the, the, the clinical treatment protocol, how we treat a regular session is a little bit different than the demo because the demo, our goal is to get them uh, as, as best results possible in the shortest amount of time because it's a taste test. Somebody told me recently, and I, I felt terrible when they explained it, but I understood that like, you're like a drug dealer. You're giving them their free sample of crack and you're trying to hook them. I was like, well, if you think about it that way, okay, yeah, sure. We're but we're trying to get them results because it helps them. Like, yeah, but you're you're trying to hook them in your crack. Okay, fine. If that's what yeah. you want to call it, that's what we're doing. But that that is essentially what we're doing with the demo, with the clinical treatment, with the regular treatment. It, when when your significant other, your your sister, cousin, wife, friend, uncle, somebody calls you up, this isn't a paid session. This is a hey, fix this problem. You hurt yourself playing basketball, football, whatever over the weekend. This is what we normally do for about a 20 minute session. Okay. And that's where this goes, where we typically get results. When somebody comes in three times a week for a month, when they get that 10 pack or that 12 pack, and we want to create results and consistent results, right? Because it may not be Dr. Gary that runs the machine one of the times it might be somebody else. This, this is where this comes into play. Okay. So typically we start everybody off position one, we do the chest. Okay. And you can see there's Shaq and there's a Igor where they have it. And the coil placement is key. If you try with your machine, what Igor's doing, it that, just right on your chest, and what Shaq's doing, right on your chest, mm-hmm. it will feel totally different because Shaq is right under his thymus. He's right underneath his breastplate. Yeah. Okay, when you take that loop and you bring it half an inch higher up, quarter of an inch higher up, you go, "Whoa, what did you do?" Because that bone gets out of the way, and now we induce stronger. Okay, yeah. so we want it a little bit higher up, and we want the person to start out at a distance and bring it in till they're comfortable. Okay. We never start it on somebody's spot and push the button the first time, uh, unless we're trying to mess with them. <laughs> uh, and that's because yeah. they don't know. We don't know what they're going to expect. They don't know what they're going to expect. Um, I had a pro football player grab the loop, put it on his separated shoulder and turn the machine on. And he jumped up with his fist raised. Like he was going to punch oh. me in the face. That was his initial yeah. reaction. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Let me tell you, because he was his natural reaction was somebody hit him. He was going to hit back. That was just his inclination. So, best way, you know, you can't undo what you've already done. Best way to do it is just at a distance. The reason that we do the heart here, the lungs, and we do these three positions: the chest, the crown, and the mid back, is because it's not the broken toe that heals the broken toe. Everything based on PMF therapy is the systems of the body heal. Right, that's 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 how, what PEMF therapy is all about. It's an immune system boost. It is getting the, the systems of the body to work faster and more efficiently. So we need to energize those systems to do the work. Mm-hmm. So anybody that comes in, ninety percent of the protocols, ninety percent of the conditions, we do something we're about to learn called position one, two, and three, and we box the mm-hmm. area of need, and that is our protocol for most of the issues. Okay, when we talk about Parkinson's somebody that just had a stroke, autism, bipolar, depression, in our little neck of the woods with PEMF therapy, they are the same in terms of protocol. Treatment, the way that we use the machine is the exact same. doesn't matter what it is. 
for us, that's 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 not how we use the machine. Okay, and and that this is going to start to materialize as we talk. So we have position one, and we do that at two to three minutes. It just depends on on uh, things that are going on. Shack is three minutes. My grandmother is a mother a mother a minute and a half. So two minutes for everybody is about the average. Okay. Uh, then position two, we do the crown of the head. For the first time, we start it like a halo above their head, and we bring it down slowly until they feel it in their teeth, in their sinuses, in their nose, their eyes. Everybody has one or two spots. And again, as you, you experience, we want them to feel it without it being too uncomfortable. Um, this guy that's that's in the picture here, he's a gold medal swimmer, so he's in better shape than most of us. He can hold his arms up for three minutes without there being a problem. Lots of people mm -hmm. holding that above their head, their arms may get tired. Okay, we can okay. simply lay them on their back first and rest it behind their head. Or another good way is sitting in the chair and have them lean forward so their elbows are down touching their knees. So they're okay. sort of there. Okay. Um, and that just, again, it's just quality of treatment. Uh, third position is the mid thoracic. We want it to be below the shoulder blades, above the tailbone, in the middle area. We want their tummy to jiggle when they're getting pulsed. We want the adrenals, the kidneys, the backside of the liver, that area all gets energized here, okay? The central nervous system, okay? It's not sensitive at all. Nobody has ever said, ow, ow, this hurts, ever in the history of using this machine because there isn't pain associated with this spot. But what they do say is, wow, it's like electrical hiccups. Wow, my muscles are jumping everywhere. Okay, totally fine, totally normal. For the first session, I started off at a distance and bring it in just because... We, they don't know what they're experiencing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, in Eastern medicine, these are three main energy points or chakras, and this is the way energy flows in the body. In Western medicine, these are three of the main organ, organ areas of the body that are doing most of our work. So whether you believe in the left half or the right half, we, we sort of got you covered. Okay. Um, I have seen over the years, and i just give you one example because people say, well, instead of doing all this, why don't I just put it on somebody's shoulder for 15 minutes? We've done that. And I encourage you to do the, the Pepsi challenge, the taste test, because I've seen 15 minutes in one spot on the shoulder is less effective than doing these protocol positions and then boxing the shoulder. It just, it's just how it is. Um, but like you tell people, try it so that way you can see, you know what I mean? Um, boxing the area. This is a, an example of what I was talking about when we do one, two, three in boxing area. We are literally looking for, uh, What's, what's the term? You heard the term boxing around the ears. We are looking for yeah. four walls. We are literally looking for as many angles of approach, uh, or rather, treatment that we can get with the technology. There is a reason that the MRI machine is is a circle, and it's not just because uh, it's it's uh, easier to operate that way. Magnetic fields work best at angles. So, in that same example, where I said, okay, if if you did 10 minutes on one spot on their shoulder, it would be way less effective than these three positions. So for a shoulder, and this applies to hip, back, neck, heel, toe, finger, jaw, tongue, you name it. We're looking to do one, two, three, and box the area where we do three minutes at the front of the shoulder here. We mm -hmm. do three minutes at the back of the shoulder. And I will promise you that regardless of the injury, the backside for most people of the injury is is far more sensitive, regardless of the injury is the front. The this the the, the buff guy here, okay, he may have a torn yeah. he, he may have a torn rotator, but I guarantee you the coil on the backside is much stronger than putting it directly over the injury site. And the reason being is okay. is we're closer to the spine, we're closer to the brain. That's shorter distance for that pain signal to travel. So we're 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 we're, we're shortening the, the distance of the pain signal. Okay. And, uh, and then we try to put their arm through the loop or through the side. So we do front, anterior, posterior, arm through the loop or to the side. Okay? And we apply that same technique as we go forward. Okay? With your with the small applicator. Okay? We put it here, and when we, we use the small applicator on a knee, it's multiple angles. Right? If you can see this, it, instead of a huge, huge field, a small field that's covering one spot, two spots, mm -hmm. three spots. Okay, we just simply rotate it after about two to three minutes on each spot, and that by far gets the better result than 10 minutes on the one spot. And you can just see with this applicator, knee, it will go Achilles, okay, and that can be dropped down to the heel, 
So for plantar fascia, you could put it in the little hole of that loop. Okay, you could use the big loop for hip problems for groin. Again, it, for us, it doesn't matter the name of the problem. It really matters location. Okay, as as one example, this this top right picture here, the guy where it's, it's like sort of near his crotch, but it's not. That could be a hip treatment that we're, we could be treating a torn labrum right there. We could be treating a ruptured quad muscle. We could be a tendon injury. We could be treating a, a femur fracture, right? Yeah. But for us, it doesn't matter. We're just treating that. We're, we're putting the energy there because it needs healing. Okay, and that is also, again, going back to that energizing the cells. That's why it seems to work on such a wide variety of conditions because, again, it's 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 the spots. Okay. Um, couple other couple other spots that I want to throw out there that aren't on here. Okay. If if and when you run into plateaus with people, and you will, always throw in the liver for two to three minutes. Put it right over their liver and uh, have them sit on the loop if you have them sit on the loop that literally like it, it targets goes all the way down the knees to the heels and it goes all the way up to the shoulders to the neck and they'll feel it in both spots so those are two other oh, i need another spot to put on this person because they're plateauing that that spot seems to to accelerate the results as well okay and any questions on that so far no. Okay. In the email I'm going to send over a little bit later with some downloads, I'm going to have uh, an A to Z protocol list. Okay. Uh, because certain conditions are a little bit different and all that, that you'll have as a reference guide. You will see that the, the guide relies on us, on our dialogue of position one, two, and three and boxing the area. Okay. It will suggest yeah. as an example, abscess tooth, position one, two, and three, box area at three minutes each. It will rely on your understanding of that particular part. Um, yeah. So if there's any questions about that, please don't hesitate to, to call right and ask. Um, I've sent you this before and you're doing this already. That this, this little demo sheet, the, the, the practitioner's office, the stick figure, if, uh, yeah. If you are not the person doing the demos, have the person doing the demos follow this to the T. It's it's the best signal oh, no, you've seen to convert demos, and and I it seems that you're on it, which is awesome. Um, what questions do you have? What can we cover? What didn't we talk about uh, so far that I can address for you? Well, I, I had it in my old practice, not the same one, but a similar one. So, I mean, I'm pretty versed. On yes. All of this. Um, so it, it and I, I'm the one that explains it to the patients of how it's working and everything. So I mean, I'm doing everything that basically you wanted us to do, follow up the next day and so forth. And um, so I mean, it's it's not that bad. Um, I don't know if we'll use up all ten hours each month, but I know um, I just met with the Carolina Rapids, which is four thousand kids for a soccer league. Um, we're just trying to hash out a contract as far as um, if I can do it versus the hospital, you know, and bring them into my clinic. So that would be the only time awesome. that if I if I'm there all weekend for like three weekends in a row, where I'd be afraid of using up my hours and not being able to use them on patients here in the clinic. But I don't think I'm gonna run into that right. Yeah, and if we do, like I said, we'll worry about, you know, uh, we don't even have a system yet to, to charge somebody uh, for if they go over the 10 hours because it hasn't happened yet. We didn't anticipate it. So I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I, I imagine that if, if you go over the 10 hours, we're going to see the good results from it uh, in the near future. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you in Vegas um, in February? At I am. Parker? We'll be at Parker. Yes, we'll okay. be at Parker. And then um, I'm going to bring up Excellent. Brian and his dad to see if they – they may just buy a machine. I don't know. Um, Kurt is his brother, and he's speaking there, and he works on the U.S. Olympic hockey team. So if I can right bring him up to you and see what I can do there. Um, there's also another – there's a person that I saw today. His sister is a holistic practitioner. Um do you want me to just give her your name and number? Um, like she wants to actually buy a unit. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Give her my name and number so that way uh, she doesn't go through our website and get kicked out to a distributor or, or something like that. That way she stays uh, in house. Oh. Okay, and then she can just ask all the questions. Um, I think she's in Wisconsin or somewhere. I don't even know where she's at. Um, but she was very impressed that we had one. And I was like, yeah, of course we have one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send her that information, and then um, I'll see you in Vegas, I guess, if not before. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, um, and, and listen, seriously, as you've been able to tell via text and all that, anything that comes up, any questions, you're not getting results, there's there's a problem, then call, text, write, I'll, I'll get to the answer, I'll get you in contact with a practitioner that has the experience on a, on a case or something, so that way you're, you're not sitting there stuck. Okay, and, and I will text you early, because... We get up every morning by five o'clock, so <laughs> I'm sorry for the time <laughs> change. <difference. laughs> no worries, <laughs> no worries. So hopefully you turn off your phone at some point. <laughs> I I do. I it, it stays in the other room, so I don't see it until the, the morning, which is good. Okay, perfect. Because otherwise, I wouldn't I wouldn't sleep. <laughs> Text you this morning. I was like, oh god, because I have patience. Yeah, no. Better. It's all good. I didn't see it until I was I was already had my cup of coffee in hand, so that was good. <laughs> Awesome. Well, sounds good. Um, thank you for your time, and we're going to get busy here. So Sounds good. Anything you need from us, don't hesitate. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, guys.